As uh, rheumatologists and lupus specialists, we try and categorise patients with lupus into mild, moderate and severe. Uh, most people don't understand what moderate and severe lupus is, but uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding about the term mild. When I use the term mild, it's very different in terms of understanding what patients perceive to be mild lupus. When we use the term mild, we mean that the patient does not have life-threatening disease and they do not have major organ involvement, for example, kidney disease, heart disease or lung disease. That's not to say that mild is trivial. Um, when we use the term mild, that's what we mean. From the patient's perspective, patients have a lot of symptoms. So mild lupus can still give you a lot of symptoms like fatigue, joint pains, mouth ulcers, skin rashes and hair loss, um, which is very troublesome from the patient point of view. So um, if we could clear up that slight misunderstanding about terminology, mild from the patient perspective and mild from the doctor's perspective are two very different things. So mild patients, our version of mild, means that a patient does not need steroids or heavy immune suppression. Uh, most of the time they will benefit from just being on an anti-malarial drug, for example, hydroxychloroquine.